Thomas, how would you analyze those last five minutes or so? Cleveland just makes a couple more plays. Yeah, I think uh, our our execution in the last final two minutes uh, weren't as good as we wanted to. Um, it's the thing we've been struggling all year. We need to uh, play a whole 40 minutes. Nate, talking a little bit, just maybe a little bit of a lack of connectivity throughout the game from you guys. Did you sense that at all? I, I don't think. I think uh, all of us, all of us wanted to win. All of us were trying uh, our best. Um, I think may, maybe coach has a point, but um, at, at the end of the day, we just uh, needed to get some stops at the end of the game. What do you sense as the primary issue toward the slow starts? You guys have been able to overcome them, but ultimately don't want to be in that position. Yeah, of course. Um, we got to change that uh, for next game. Um, that's a that's a big point. If if we can come out like game one, uh, that will help us a lot. You had 19 points, kind of your breakout effort here for the first time in the playoffs for your career. I know you're a team guy, but can you speak to what was working well for you on the floor? I was just trying to be aggressive, and my teammates were finding me, and I was just trying to finish. You, does it kind of a sense of relief to have one of these games? I know you didn't play much in the playoffs mm -hmm. in Oklahoma City in the first three games. Not necessarily going your way to have a breakout performance. Not really. Um, the most, the most important thing is to win, and uh, we didn't, we didn't get that done tonight. So we got to come out um, for next game and try and get it. What do you see as a key going back to Cleveland, a place you guys have played pretty well so far this year? I, th I feel like every game we got to come out better, um, improve everything we do. So um, we just got to come out and play whole 48 minutes. So hopefully we can come out like game one. A nice night for Demontis Sabonis, despite the loss. Back to you, JJ.